What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you a video and we are doing an FPS counter on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop today showing you how to get it. So if you may see we are on my main desktop. Don't, no need to worry the same rules apply it's going to be the exact same we're only doing the desktop that way I can screen record and show you exactly what to do. First you're going to go over here and you're going to click Google Chrome whatever uh, or whatever extension you use then you're going to type in MSI Afterburner. Once you've done that it will give you an option to download for Windows. Once you do that you're just going to simply click on download for Windows. I don't have to I already have it downloaded but once you do that just click it we will download and give you through the steps. Once you've done that you will launch MSI Afterburner once it launches you'll see a screen like this you may see an older screen as uh, the thumbnails in the thumbnail you may see an older kind of version that is the older version same thing then you're going to click the settings menu that you just saw me click it's going to show you your graphics card and a bunch of other stuff this is how you also overclock again if you're doing the HP Pavilion I wouldn't recommend going over 100 Hertz on core or memory clock alright so then you're going to go to monitoring mon monitoring and then you're going to go down and you can do all this if you want if you want to see like all this stuff and statistics on your computer feel free to do so this is how you do it you'll see all these check marks you'll go down over here to frame rate and you'll make sure there's a check mark right beside the actual name too so that's unclicked click it and very important make sure you click the box show on screen display once you've done that you will then apply it and then go whatever game you can see and as you can see minecraft we're using in this test you can see the frame counter right there in the left corner showing 160 fps and it shows you right there beside it so same rules apply for the hp pavilion even though we're on my main pc it's going to be the exact same way and that will give you the FPS counter. There are some of FPS counters you can get on different software. So if you want to use different softwares that you already know about, feel free to do that. This is just the easiest one that I've ever used that shows you your temps too as well if you want. I do have my GPU temp up there. I don't really uh, use, it, use it for any other temperatures. Uh, sometimes my CPU. Other than that, you don't have to. Um, it's up completely up to you. You can use whatever settings you can or, or you want for that matter. Uh, again, guys, that is how you get the FPS counter, and this is the easiest one to record with. That usually shows up, and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, you know, be sure to like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.